Coming up on Mountain News this morning, a local school district asked for help with an investigation after a string of thefts leaves it with a loss of thousands of dollars. And a major car manufacturer gives us a sneak peek of its future plans as it opens up a new headquarters here in the Commonwealth. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Well, we've made it to 636 here on, on this Wednesday morning. Thank you for sticking around with us with our technical difficulties. And speaking of the technical difficulty, let's head over to Brandon, <laughs> to Brandon, who, you know, has, you know, is the technical difficulty. So listen, I, I called this this morning. I was telling our producer, I said, the Internet is going to go at some point today. It is my last day before vacation. And this always happens. And I can't even come to the station right now uh, as, as a backup plan because it would take me too long to get there. Plus, I, I'm still I still am positive for COVID. So I mean, it's just it's yeah. A mess and this you morning. know what? How anyway, dare you take a vacation? How dare you? You're not supposed to take off. I, I know, I know. It's not, you know I haven't had one in you know about two years. So <laughs> it's about, I think it's about time for one. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into it today, and we'll see live pinpoint Doppler radar. Let's, let's bear with me. Hopefully, the graphics will keep working here. We're having some trouble with those this morning, kind of lagging. But you see on live pinpoint Doppler radar again, not too much action going on out there this morning. It's off to the west, though. Not sure if all that is reaching the ground at this point. So we will keep you posted on that as we head deeper into the daytime hours. Let's see if I can get it to go this way. There we go. All right, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s and 50s, almost 60 in Somerset this morning, so a very mild start to the day across the region. No 30s and 20s this morning, so a very mild air mass getting ready to move in as we head deeper into the daytime hours. Your breakfast forecast, again, we are going to see uh, some uh, breakfast flakes coming out of the box, and maybe you'll see them. There we go. All right, we're looking at temperatures there in the 50s, as we head deeper in the day, we'll get into the 70s. Dakota? Brandon, thank you. Well, an Eastern Kentucky School District is investigating a string of thefts, leaving school officials upset for their staff and students. Well, we talked to school officials who say the district is now out of thousands of dollars. This surveillance video from Perry County Schools shows what district staff believe to be a silver Chevy Cavalier back into a spot. Staff say two people got out of the car and stole meat from a storage unit behind Perry County Central High School early Tuesday morning. They would actually, to get into that place, would have had to have climbed a fence that we have around that. Harvey Caldwell with Perry County Schools says they believe the two in the video actually moved a surveillance camera to help shield their identity. This is not the first time this has happened. You know, this is probably the third or fourth time that we've been broke into over the last several months. Several weeks ago, A.B. Combs School, which houses students from Robinson Elementary and Buckhorn School after their schools were damaged by flooding, was broken into. Staff say a man and woman broke a window and stole two laptops, saying they had hoodies on and turned their faces away from surveillance cameras at the school. The way that these are happening, it tells us that the places looks like they're being scoped out because if they know where the cameras are actually placed on the buildings, then that's they know uh, where to hide. Saying the school district is now out of thousands of dollars, anywhere between five and ten thousand. Parents rely on us to to to, to provide students uh, with a safe place um, and a place to provide warm meals. And so this is taken from that. Caldwell says they do not believe the thefts are connected. In Perry County, Dakota Makeris, WYMT, Mountain News. Well, among other thefts, school staff say they have also had lawn equipment stolen, along with bows and arrows from Perry Central's archery team. And if you have any information, you are asked to call Central Office using the number you see on your screen. Deputies in Madison County are taking part in some unique training. The training is about showing deputies how they can handle individuals with autism more effectively. In 2021, the CDC reported one in 44 children in the U.S. is placed on the autism spectrum disorder. Officials say this kind of training is long overdue. And that's something we certainly want to avoid. If, if you have someone that's on the spectrum and maybe their caregiver has been involved in an accident, um, and they're incapacitated. What do we need to do to help um, this person that may not be able to speak very well, may not be verbal, um, and how to tr act, get them the help they need? Well, the department is working with a Lexington based nonprofit to design the training. Now, here in Kentucky, voters will find two proposed constitutional cha changes on their ballots. 
One of them, Constitutional Amendment 2, will determine the future of abortion rights here in the state. It asks voters if they want to put the following sentence into the state constitution. To protect human life, nothing in this constitution shall be construed to secure or protect a right to abortion or require the funding of abortion. Kentuckians will be asked to vote yes or no. If the amendment passes, it would officially change the state's guiding document. Here's what representatives with Yes for Life and Planned Parenthood have to say about the matter. Elections have consequences. If we don't like how our lawmakers are serving our community, that's why we vote every two years on the House and every four years of the Senate. You know, we all know and love somebody who's had an abortion. We all know and love somebody who has, a, who has had a complicated pregnancy. We should not allow mandates from legislators, most of whom are not medical providers, to be coming into our exam rooms and telling our doctors what they can and can't do. Well, if you're wondering on where you might find Amendment 2 on your midterm ballot in November, it will likely be the last question on your ballot. Well, Toyota in Georgetown opened up its North American Engineering headquarters to show a sneak preview of what it's working on. Production engineering executives discussed the future of manufacturing and workforce needs. They kicked off the event showing how they are using virtual reality and robots to automate the car building process and speed up production. Vice President of Production Engineering says the company is always looking for ways to be innovative. Um, one is really how do we educate our you know, workforce you know, to build that product of the future. And today we were able to show different types of virtual reality where we can you know, bring our current product in with future product or future tools that currently don't exist today. But we can bring them in a virtual world and we can actually train our team members before we actually have a tooling or vehicle that actually exists. So we're able to pull that head in an environment. The Toyota Production and Engineering Center says it continues to look forward to the future of mobility. Well, the North Fork Oktoberfest is back in downtown Hazard this weekend. Well, there will be a wiener dog race and three beer vendors set up on the street along with two bars downtown. Five bands are also set to perform, like Ben Fuga and the Burning Trash Band. Organizers say the event will be a fun time for everyone. We did discuss, is this the right time? Is this the right thing? Do we need to you know, change this in some way? Um, and we said, you know what? No, people really need that sense of normalcy. Well, there will be a beer stein holding, a beer stein holding and pretzel eating contest. Whoever wins either contest will become a Duke or Duchess of Hazard and get a key to the city. Gates open at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. There is a $10 entry fee. Well, thank you so much for getting your morning started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Still to come, people touring the Big Apple can once again make a visit to Lady Liberty after being unable to do so for more than two years. Stay with us.